everyone. You are joining us here out at The Land for our worship um, gathering on Saturday mornings every week at 10 a.m. And we are in the process of reopening next Saturday, July 4th, for an in-person option. This means that um, we will continue a version of our live stream for people who uh, like participating in that way. And then we're starting a process uh, to gather people in person again beginning in July. And so I want to be honest about the process that it will not feel the same as it has felt when you come out to the land. And I want to walk you through a couple of the things that you're going to need to do before you come and a couple of things that you're going to need to do when you get here to keep everybody as safe as possible during this pandemic. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is pre-register for our service. We have 25 good spots out here that you can bring your own chair or blanket and set up and be physically distanced from other people that are worshiping alongside of you. And in order to prepare and plan appropriately, we're asking that you pre-register to come to a service in July. And so you'll find that pre-registration sheet on our website. It's emailed out every week. So if you'd like to subscribe um, via our website to our weekly newsletter, that will be another way to get that link. But pre-registering just honors the safety of our community and really communicates your willingness to be a part of our team as we enter back into in-person worship. You're going to also need to bring your own chairs, which is something new, or a blanket to sit on. You will want to put your dog on a leash, and this is a twofold request. One, obviously, is for lowering transmission of the virus, but it's also to keep them safe from the rattlesnakes that we cohabitate with out here. So when you arrive to the land on a Saturday morning, you'll walk up to our beautiful outdoor sanctuary. You'll be greeted by our lovely greeters. You'll be helped to wash your hands in, make sure that you have your mask on, that you have everything you need to be comfortable, bug spray, sunscreen, all of that good stuff. And then you'll be invited to find a spot that's already pre-marked out for you. We're working together really hard on our sound system. And there are some costs that have come along as all of you know with this pandemic and relaunching in person has really lifted those costs for us and so i'm going to ask that if you're hoping to participate in person in our community or if you just love the mission of our community which is connecting with and caring for creation that you might go online right now or sometime during the service and make a donation we have venmo set up from the land and we also have two other safe secured online giving systems. This will help us as we're purchasing new equipment to ensure that everybody who is here and at home can hear and participate in the service equally. I thank you for your patience with us. I thank you for your prayers for our community. We are all entering into this next phase with mixed messages of what is right and wrong. And as a church community, we are called to be countercultural in this next step and so i thank you for the ways that you're joining with participating in this new vision for what it looks like to be a beloved community